hi guys welcome back to the channel this video we're gonna be understanding how to control a motor using the l293 d motor driver module so um, before we get started let's quickly take a look at the components we require in the circuit we will require a couple of jumper wires a motor an l293 d motor driver module and the arduino uno so let's get started with the circuit this module can support a total of two motors one on this side and the other on this side so this is a motor and the two wires are connected and plugged into our module like that once we've done that we use the screwdriver to stabilize the connection so let's quickly take a wire plug it into that terminal over there and push the nail down similarly do it for this direction and take it down so it's come out let's quickly put it back again all right so once we have we're done screwing the wires into the module we will connect our motor driver to the arduino uno mm -hmm. so on the side we have connected these two wires there are these two pins right here we will connect this pin into digital pin 10 all right and we will connect mm -hmm. the second pin on to digital pin 11 mm -hmm. for this video we only we're only using one motor so we won't be dealing with this side but what we do have to do is connect the GND and the 5 volt ports of the motor driver. So let's quickly get on to that. We will connect a wire from the GND pin. So over here, if you look carefully, there are two pins for 5 volt and two pins for GND. So we can put the we can put this in any of the two. So we'll for now let's connect it into the GND pin and take it onto the GND of our Arduino Uno and similarly connect the 5 volts of the motor driver into the 5 volts of our Arduino Uno mm -hmm. so that's our circuit now let's quickly take a look at the code required for, a, for, the, for the motor to run this is our program over here in our void in our void setup we are specifying the two digital pins we have used as output and we are giving a command in the in the void loop to go high or low according to the pin number so let's uh, let's try uploading the program onto our circuit and see how our circuit responds all right so once we have uh, written down our program all we need to do is connect the USB cable onto our Arduino Uno. Once we do that, a red light will appear on the motor driver, and which is when we upload our program for the motor to run. So once I upload the program, our motor will start rotating in different directions so if you see in our program we have given the command to rotate in one direction and after one second go in the opposite direction so as you can see it goes anti-clockwise and then after one second goes in the clockwise direction so that's it for this video 
hope you enjoyed the content hope it was useful for you we look forward to seeing you in our upcoming videos make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video make sure you drop a comment in the comment section below tell us how we can improve and what all new circuits to uh, explore in our upcoming video